everyone, it's Sarah, and welcome to my crochet channel. Now today's video, I'm going to show you how to make my big loopy flower. Now this size measures about four inches across, but the neat thing is about this pattern is you can continue the pattern and make the flowers as big as you want to. Now this is a free crochet pattern on my blog and you can find that blog link down in the notes underneath this video. To make the loopy flowers, you just need some medium weight number four yarns. These are all made with Red Heart Super Saver stripes. Different colors. This is two-tone blue. This one has green in the center and teal and different shades of purple. And the striping yarns work great for these. You can also make them in solids or you can change colors as you go if you want to. It takes about an ounce per flower because we're making lots of chains to make all these loops. I'm going to be using this yarn today and this is just some leftover mandala yarn that I have and it's uh, mandala or mandala however you want to pronounce that yarns by Lion Brand and this is one of their ombres and I just had this left over from a project and I think it's going to make some beautiful flowers. We're going to be stitching today with our H hook, which is a 5.0 millimeter crochet hook. You'll need a needle to weave in those ends, and of course you'll need some scissors. We're going to begin with our slip knot. We're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. And we're going to join this into a circle. So we'll put the tail of our yarn over our hook and pull it through that loop and snug that down. And then we'll just tie that stay knot. We're going to go in that chain four loop, pull up a loop and chain one. And what we're going to do is we're going to stitch 10 single crochets in this chain four loop. So we'll go in pull up a loop, yarn over, and go through both loops. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and you'll notice as I'm going, I'm also stitching over that tail of yarn. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So I have ten single crochets. I'm going to join to my first single crochet with a slip stitch. And then I'm going to go ahead and chain ten chains. Now, before I move on in the pattern, I'm going to turn this over and I'm going to gently pull on that string to close that hole in the center of my flower. And then I'll go ahead and take my needle and close up that hole. I have to weave this in anyway, and so I'll go ahead and take care of that. And then I won't have to come back and do it later. And this just takes a second or two. I'm going to go back the way I came, make sure that's nice and snug. I can clip that off and I don't have to worry about that anymore. All right, so now I have 10 single crochets and a chain 10. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be chaining 10 and then slip stitching in the next stitch, but we're only going to be working in the front loops. If you'll notice, you have loops in the front and loops in the back all the way around. We're only going to be stitching this row in the front loops. So I've chained 10. I'm going to go in the front loop and stitch a slip stitch. Then I'm going to chain 10 again. And 
8, 9, and 10. I'll go in the next stitch and only stitch in that front loop. We pull our loop through, then pull that loop through the loop on our hook. That's our slip stitch. And then you want to snug that down and chain 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And we'll do that again. We'll go in just the front loop of that next single crochet. Pull the loop through. And then pull that loop through the loop on your hook. I pulled that too tight. There we go. And chain 10. And we'll continue to do this all the way around. And you can see these loops here. All right, we'll do the next one. Slip stitch in the front loop only. And chain 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Slip stitch in the front loop only of the next single crochet. Then chain ten. See all those loops as I'm working around? All right, we just have a couple more to do here. It looks like one, two, three, four. I completed those last four loops, and you should have ten loops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. When you finish your last loop, we're going to turn it over and look on the back. And you'll notice that you have those loops that were on the back side that we didn't stitch in. And now what we're going to do is we're going to stitch in those back loops. So I'm going to push all those loops that we just did down to the front so they're out of my way and I can see those back loops. All right, so we're going to go right in that first back loop and stitch a single crochet. Then we're going to go in the next single crochet and stitch two single crochets. One, two, so that's three, one in the next, four, two in the next, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, here's our last one, fourteen and fifteen. Now, You'll notice you'll have a little bit of a, of a uh, portion of your loop that looks like it's going across. Don't worry about that. Once you get your 15th stitch, go ahead and join in that first single crochet with a slip stitch, and then we'll chain 10. We have our 10. 10 chain loops, then we single crocheted in the back loops, and we single crocheted one and two, one and two, one and two, all the way around, and now we have 15 single crochets. We joined to the first single crochet, and we chain 10. All right, now we're going to do loops again 
10 chain loops like we did up here and these front loops. All right, so here's our first chain 10. We'll go in our first loop, stitching only in the front, the front loops. There's our slip stitch and chain 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right. So now we'll go to the next front loop only. Stitch a slip stitch and chain 10. Now keep those front loops that we already did on the first row pushed forward. It'll help you find those stitches on this row. All right, so now we're gonna go in the next front loop stitch a slip stitch and chain 10. Next front loop of the next single crochet, stitch a slip stitch and chain 10. And we'll continue to do this all the way around this row. Slip stitch in the front loop of the next single crochet and chain 10. And repeat. Slip stitch in the front loop of the next single crochet and chain 10. And we'll continue to work our way around stitching chain 10, slip stitch in the next front loop of the next single crochet. And we'll continue to work our way around and you'll have 15 loops. Chain 10, slip stitch in the front loop of the next single crochet and chain 10 and repeat all the way around till you get back over here where we started this row. And again, if you'll keep those loops from the previous row pushed forward, you'll be able to find your stitches. I completed row two, stitching my chain 10s and then slip stitching in each of the single crochets. You should have 15 loops. And now we're going to go to the back loops of that row. There we go. And we're going to repeat what we did on row two. We're going to place one single crochet in the first back loop and then we'll stitch two in the next one and two. And again, if you'll push your loops forward, since we're working on those back loops, you'll be able to see all those loops working around for you to work your stitches in. And it just makes it a lot easier. I usually just hold my loops forward and then I can find those back loops really easily. One single crochet in the next, two single crochets in the next, all the way around, working in the back loops, one and two. And we'll work this all the way around. So now I've stitched one and two in the back loops and I'm going to have 22 single crochets. I'm going to join to my first single crochet and chain 10. And so we're just going to repeat what we did on these two rows on this row. The only difference is, of course, you're going to have more loops. And that's the way the pattern works. You continue to have more loops on every row. And because we have 22 stitches, we're going to have 
22 loops. And again, we're only going to work in the front loop of the single crochet. So chain 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Whoops. <laughs> then we'll slip stitch in the front loop of the next single crochet, just like we did on the two previous loopy rows. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, whoops, 7, 8, 9, 10, chain 10, push your loops forward so you can see your stitches, and then slip stitch in the front loop of each single crochet. There we go. All righty. So I'm just going to continue around. Chain 10, slip stitch in the front loop of each single crochet, and stitch my row of loops all the way around. Chain 10, slip stitch in the front loop. And then I'll join back to that first single crochet where we started. And then I'll show you how to finish off your flower on the back. I finished that third row of loops. Isn't that beautiful? All right, now what we're going to do is look at the back and again, push your petals forward so you can see that row where we have our back loops. And if you wanna make your flower bigger, you would continue to do the pattern as one and two, one and two, all the way around the back loops. And then you would do the loop row where we did chain 10, slip stitch in the next single crochet all the way around and repeat that if you want to make your flower bigger. You would continue to repeat the pattern that we did. But if your flower is big enough like mine, we're not going to increase on this last row. All we're going to do is just stitch a single crochet in each of those single crochet back loops around. All right. So if you want to make it bigger, you would do the one and two single crochets and then repeat the chain 10, slip stitch in the next for your loop row. And you would continue those two rows until the flower was as big as you want it. Once your flower is as big as you would like, then on the last row, like I'm doing here, you would just stitch one single crochet in each single crochet around. And of course, this is going to have 22 because that's where we're at. I've completed that row, stitching one single crochet in each single crochet around. I'm going to join to that first single crochet with a slip stitch. And I'm going to cut my yarn. Now, if I'm going to sew this onto something like maybe a bag or a hat or a purse, I would leave a long tail of yarn so that I could sew, that it, sew it on. But I'm not going to. I'm just going to go ahead and cut that and tie that off. And so I need to weave that in. But remember, when we closed the beginning, we went ahead and weaved that one in. So we don't have to weave that one in. It's already done. So I'll just thread this onto my needle and just weave it in, going through some stitches, some of the fibers of the yarn. All right, we'll go ahead and clip it. 
And so here's our flower, our big loopy flower. And again, the neat thing about this pattern is that you can make them as big as you want. And so here are some of the loopy flowers that I made. And of course, these are made with Red Heart Super Saver Stripes. This is the Mandela one. And I love all of them. And they're perfect for any kind of decorating. They're perfect for adding to scarves, bags, hats, and flower arrangements. Whatever you do with them, they're super fun to make and super fun to use. <music>